Having an idea now of how the RBA sets the real interest rate in response to inflation and output gaps, you'd think we could come up with a function setting it out. So that's what we're going to look at in this video, the idea of a policy reaction function, and we'll give an example of it in the form of what we call the Taylor Rule. So quite simply, a policy reaction function gives us a prediction of how the RBA is going to set the real interest rate depending on some macroeconomic factors. So if you look at our equation down here, we've just got it set to some constant number plus the sum of a bunch of factors multiplied by certain weights. So I've underlined the word prediction here because you do have to note that there is no sort of official policy reaction function that is used by the RBA. The RBA hires professional people to sort of look over the state of the economy and determine on a case-by-case -case basis when they should or should not increase or decrease the real interest rate. It is not relegated to a simple function, but we can use a relatively simple function to get a decent estimate of what it will do. So we'll look at an example of a policy reaction function. We've seen in our previous videos that the RBA will use the real interest rate to combat inflation and also to combat output gaps. So it should be unsurprising then the form of the Taylor Rule. The Taylor Rule uses two factors, 